Hey guys, let's jump straight into it. I'm literally going to be making this site from the ground up so you guys can watch how I do it. So to add the products, you're just going to go to the products on the left hand side and click on products. Then click to add products. Then you're going to go to the section where it has the title and a description. I'm just going to quickly just copy and paste from my site um this unit that i sell her name is bella so i'm going to go ahead and put in bella that's very simple and i'm going to go ahead and copy and paste the description from bella into the website now for the description you want to be very detailed you want to use keywords so that if someone was to google it they would be able to find it it would be able to connect to your site using that Google search engine. So for example, for mine, I just have, you know, this five by five closure wig It's a beginner unit. Um, and I talk about the details and just so the customer knows exactly what they're getting. The wig has four bundles. It has that closure. It's a certain uh, size cap. It's available in this type of texture. You know, you just want to lay everything out on the line so the customer knows exactly what they're getting. And then you can add in the images right there. You just click add image and then go to your files and add in the images that way. And then you will add in the price, whatever price you want to do. And then you would put in the quantity if you want to track your inventory. Right now, I'm just going to put in 15 doesn't really matter it's up to you what number you put there um whether you're pre-ordering and you want to keep the number down so you say oh i only have five available so you don't get a whole lot of orders but if you can keep up with it still and you have uh the hair on hand or the product on hand then you can say i have this certain amount so you can keep up with the inventory so here i'm going to show you how you can have multiple options for the unit so you put the length and i'm just gonna throw in some limbs in there really quickly and then i'm going to add in the different types of laces so what would th this would look like on the website it will have bella and it will have um you pick the length and then another option would be to pick what different type of lace you want so this would be if you're using clothes, you can say, oh, I pick a size medium and then the color would be another option in red. So this will be able to work for different types of um, areas and arenas, depending on what you're selling. It doesn't necessarily have to be here. And then here you would just update the quantity depending on the variant. So let's say you have three that have HD lace and 10 that have transparent lace. And so you just want to differentiate that way. So I'm just showing you guys how to do that. Now you get the point, you just change it over to whatever amount that is. And then you want to change the pricing. So for example, my HD lace costs more than my Swiss transparent and my regular Swiss lace. So I would change up the prices for those. And of course, um, the different lengths will be a higher price as well. But for recording purposes, I'm not going to do all of that. You guys get the point. And to add it to a collection, straight from the product page, you would just click right there. Once the collections are already added, it'll show up there. and You just click on it there. So I'm now just going to save it and I'm going to show you how to add one more product and then I'm going to show you how to make the collection. So here I'm adding in another product. I'm just going to do Brazilian Body Wave and I just put Brazilian Body Wave to increase the chances of your site being seen when somebody Googles Brazilian Body Wave. I personally don't use that on my textures, but... You get the point. Um, I also talk about it being 100% human hair. I talk about what you can do with the hair just to improve that description so that the customer knows exactly what they're getting. 
And if I were to be selling clothes, I'd probably talk about the fabric that was used or what type of options I would wear that specific piece with or things like that. And I also sell lashes. So in that description for area for my lashes, I will talk about if it's 20 millimeters or 25 millimeters. And then I will kind of say, oh, these are cute for date night. These are cute if you want to glam up your look. These are cute for an everyday look. Those are the types of things that you want to put in your descriptions. So now that we've completed this product, we can go ahead and add the collection. You just go down right on that left hand side as well and click collection and then create collection. And here you still want to be descriptive because again, you want to make sure that you're putting in keywords so that they're able to see you on Google. And here I've just named it the Brazilian collection. And in the description, I talk about it being chemical free, it being free of nits. And I kind of put a call to action of, you know, look no further. We have what you need here. And then you just continue to fill out the rest of the information that it's asking there. And to the right is where you will put that image for your collection. A lot of the times that's where you will see sold on Etsy where they have the frontals or the closures and wigs pictures designed for that different area and category. That's where those pictures go. And then to add the products to the collection, you just go back to products, click on them both, click on actions and add it to the collection. It's really that easy and that simple. Now I'm going to quickly show you how to add pages. You just want to go to online store and then click on pages. And this is where you would add in your shipping policy, where you would put your frequently asked question page, where you will put any other page where you just want to put information as opposed to putting products to sell. That's where you would do it. So I'm just going to copy and paste my shipping policy just to give you guys a feel on how the pages page works. I'm just going to copy and paste that really quickly. Put that on in. And the only advice I really have for the shipping policy is to say what you mean and mean what you say so that in the case of a chargeback, you have that proof and that set up to protect you. And so I'm just going to put that in. You guys see it. You guys can pause it if you want and read it. And then I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to show you guys how to add that to your menu. So you just go to navigation and then you click on main menu. And I'm going to add everything that we've just done to the main menu. And I'm going to show you guys how that shows up when you actually get to your store. And as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. You're just going to add in whatever you want to name it on your menu and then simply click the link to it. So now I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. When you put all of this together, you're going to go back to the home page and click on customize theme and then customize theme again. Now you can use the free themes that Shopify offers, or you can purchase a theme to add into your site. And once you click on your theme, you're just going to click on customize and it's going to take you to Shopify's built in website builder. And this is where you will find everything that we just did already in the site. And on the left hand side, you have the option to add in or delete sections. But if you look at the top, you can see that the menu is right there with the Brazilian collection and the shipping policy. And if you click on the Brazilian collection, you see the products that we just added. It's really that simple and that easy. And if you guys want to see how I actually create the graphics that go here using Keynote, Canva, and PicMonkey, stay tuned because I will be releasing many tutorials using those services very soon. 
Don't forget to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell so you're notified when I make more videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.